Hey guys, Ted here with Aperture, and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the histogram function on your monitor. All you gotta do is press the menu button, go right on over, assistant functions, right down to histogram, hit right, and there it is, it's on. So, what is a histogram? Now, the X values on a histogram are going to be your brightness levels. So right here, it's gonna be zero IRE, which is total black, to 100 IRE, which is total white. Now, generally, you want your image to be somewhere in between here because pictures have tones, and you wanna capture all those tones and details and if you want to do that, you don't want something that's totally black and totally white. So if the X values are the brightness values of the image, the Y values here are the number of pixels or the amount of your image that's in that brightness range. So as you can see here, I've got a pretty well exposed image, which means that most of my Y values and my uh, number of pixels are here in the midtones. Now, if I were to change that, if I were to say lower the ISO, you can see right here that Immediately, the histogram shifts so that the Y values, the number of pixels, change to the shadows because now my image is very, very dark. If you're trying to pull up that image and you want to see it again in post, it's going to be very, very noisy information. Now, likewise, if I were to change that and I were to increase the ISO, just like that, you can see that the histogram shifts to the right. And now that my image is very, very blown out, you can see that the histogram represents that. The problem is, if you take this picture or you're shooting this footage, and you wanna bring that back down, you wanna get some of that detail, the camera actually won't be able to capture information that's overexposed. It's actually gonna look like there's kind of a splash of bleach here because your camera won't be able to bring back the detail that it wasn't able to capture. So generally when you're exposing an image, you wanna avoid having huge spikes in the shadows and having huge spikes in the highlights because usually that'll mean that you've either underexposed or overexposed your image. Now, that isn't always the case. Sometimes there is white in real life and sometimes there is black in real life too. It's just a matter of where you want it to be in your creative vision. So a little tip when you're setting up your histogram, but actually try to lean your histogram a little bit to the right, a little bit to the overexposed side. And the reason for that is because as long as you're protecting your highlights, as long as you aren't actually overexposing, you aren't at the 100 IRE mark, you're actually bringing up as much of your image as possible, which helps you in your shadows. The higher your shadows are, the more data you're getting. And you can always crush shadows and take them back to black. But if you're trying to bring up shadows, you're always gonna get noise. So remember, for the best reproduction of your shadows, the name of the game is how far can you push your histogram to the right without clipping and protecting your highlights. In addition to being able to tell brightness values from your histogram, you can also tell the contrast of your picture as well. If your picture is very contrasty, you'll see a very spread out histogram, meaning that you have both values in the highlights of your picture and in the shadows. Now on the other hand, if you're trying to get something that's very low contrast, your picture will have just values in one narrow part of your histogram meaning that your entire image is about one brightness value. Lastly, like any function on the vScreen monitors, you can program this one to a shortcut. So if I go down to the shortcut menu and I change the left button to histogram, now when I'm outside of the menu, all I gotta do is just hit left and histogram turns on and off without having to go in. It's a fast and easy way to check your picture without having to go through the menus. Anyways, that's it for histograms. I'm Ted here from the A-Team. If you have any questions or a tutorial maybe that you want to hear about, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like our Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube, and we will catch you next time. Happy shooting.